On an extremely chilly winter morning, a husband and his blonde wife tuned in to the radio during breakfast. The announcer forewarned of 9 to 11 inches of snow, instructing residents to park on the even-numbered side for the snow plows. Without hesitation, the wife went outside and relocated her car. A week later, during another breakfast session, the radio announcer predicted 12 to 13 inches, prompting parking on the odd-numbered side. Once again, the wife dutifully moved her car. The following week, as they sat down for breakfast, the forecast escalated to 14 to 15 inches, but an abrupt power outage cut off the announcement. Concerned, the wife exclaimed, I don't know what to do. Which side of the street should I park on for the snowplows? With a reassuring tone, the husband suggested, why not simply leave the car in the garage this time? A man was seated at a bar, savoring an after-work drink, when an incredibly stunning and attractive young woman walked in. She was so captivating that the man couldn't help but fixate on her. Observing his intense gaze, the young woman approached him. Instead of waiting for him to apologize for staring, she boldly stated, I'll do anything, absolutely anything you want, no matter how kinky for $1.200, on one condition. Taken aback, the man inquired about the condition. With a mischievous smile, the young woman declared, you have to tell me what you want me to do in just three words. After contemplating her proposition, the man retrieved his wallet, counted out $10.20 bills, and handed them to the young woman. He gazed into her eyes, uttered, paint my house. A petite elderly lady is pulled over for speeding, and as the officer approaches, she hands over her documentation. Spotting her concealed carry license, he inquires, Ma'am, do you have a firearm in the vehicle? She nods, saying, Yes, sir, I do. Amused by her stature, barely five feet tall and 90 pounds, the officer asks, May I inquire about the type of firearm you have? The lady cheerfully responds, Certainly, sir. I've got a nine minute hours in my purse, a 45 in the center console, and a magnum in the glove compartment. Slightly surprised, the officer quips, Is that all? She chuckles and adds, Oh no, I also have a pistol grip shotgun in the trunk. Perplexed, the officer asks, Ma'am, what are you afraid of? The sweet smiling little old lady replies, No fucking way. One sunny morning, a wife was busy in the kitchen preparing breakfast for her husband. As she cracked a few eggs and heated up the pan, she heard the sound of her husband's car pulling into the driveway. Anticipating his entry into the house, she quickened her pace. Just as she was about to flip the eggs, her husband hurried into the kitchen, appearing quite frantic, and his words rushed out in a flurry. He exclaimed, Woo! Watch out! Watch out! Put in more butter! Oh my, you're cooking too many all at once! Too many! Flip them! Flip them now! We need more butter! Oh my, where are we going to find more butter? They're going to stick. Watch out. Watch out. I told you to be careful. You never pay attention to me when you're cooking. Never. Flip them quick. Have you gone mad? Have you lost your senses? Don't forget to add salt. You know you always forget the salt. Use the salt. Use the salt. The salt. Baffled by her husband's unusual behavior, the wife stared at him, trying to comprehend what could be causing such agitation. She couldn't understand why he was so worked up over a few eggs. Finally, she exclaimed, What's wrong with you? His simple response, I just wanted you to feel what it's like when I'm behind the wheel. A large number of viewers watch my videos without a subscription. Therefore, subscribe to my channel so as not to miss new videos with funny jokes. There once was a prosperous Texan farmer who, out of curiosity, delved into his family history. To his surprise, he traced his roots back to a charming Irish town where his ancestors were also farmers. Fueled by this discovery, the Texan embarked on a journey to Ireland with the hope of connecting with distant relatives. After a lengthy flight and a drive from Dublin, the Texan, feeling a bit hungry and seeking local guidance, decided to stop at a welcoming pub for a pint and some information. Inside, he noticed a friendly Irishman at the bar, and as he sipped his frothy pint, he shared his story of ancestral exploration and the purpose of his visit to Ireland. The Irishman, looking intrigued, responded, You don't say! While I can't claim to know your family, it's quite a coincidence because I'm a farmer myself. 
what's farming like out there in Texas? Eager to share, the Texan farmer replied, Oh, I'd love to tell you. Farming in Texas has been incredibly rewarding. If you started driving west from my farmhouse in the morning, you could drive steadily all day and still wouldn't reach the end of my property. The same goes for driving east, north, or south. You could spend the whole day in any direction and still not reach the end of my land. The Irish farmer nodded in understanding and humorously remarked, I get it completely. I've got a tractor like that as well. On Monday morning, a man walks into his office and starts the day by checking his email. To his surprise, he finds a message from his nearest neighbor asking if he has photos of his wife without clothes. Feeling angry and taken by surprise, the man quickly responds with a firm, no, what are you? A few moments later, another notification appears on his screen, another email from his neighbor. Hoping for an apology, he clicks on it only to read, do you want to buy some? A man strongly dislikes his wife's cat and he decides to move her away from their house. He puts the cat in his car, drives to a place 20 blocks away and leaves the cat there. However, when he returns home, he finds that the cat is already waiting for him at the front door. Undeterred, he tries to carry out the same plan the next day, driving the cat to 40 streets. And yet, when he gets home, the cat is right there again, waiting for him. Determined to outwit the cat, he gradually increases the distance every day, making many turns. But no matter how far he goes, the cat is always ahead of him. Disappointed, he develops a new plan. He drives the car for a long time, making several turns, driving over a large bridge and navigating in different directions until it seems to him that he is far away. Satisfied with his efforts, he leaves the cat in the place he considers ideal. However, when he realizes that he is lost, he calls his wife for help. He asks, Honey, is the cat at home? She answers in the affirmative, saying, Yes, the cat is right here. An irritated man asks, Could you pass the phone to that devil cat? I'm lost, and I need directions. Three soldiers, recently returned from their duties in the Falkland Islands, stood at attention in the musty, oak-lined office of their commanding officer. These men, hailing from different units, were recognized for their bravery and exceptional service during the conflict. The first, a seasoned Special Forces commando adorned with scars mapping his tours, was called forward. The commander presented him with a proposition for your outstanding service. We're offering compensation of $100 for every inch on your body from one chosen point to another. Eagerly, the commando snapped to attention and declared, Sir, measure from the top of my head to the tips of my toes. The commander used a tailor's tape, and the verdict was 70 inches, earning the commando $7,000. Next in line was a confident Marine who stepped up with arms spread wide. He requested, Sir, measure from the fingertip of my left hand to the fingertip of my right hand, both arms outstretched. The commander, surprised but obliging, stretched the tape, and the Marine's quick thinking earned him $7,500 with a measurement of 75 inches. Finally, the third soldier, an explosives expert, stepped forward and said, Sir, I'd like to be measured from the tip of my private to the end of my testicles. A moment of silence enveloped the room and the two other soldiers exchanged glances as the commander raised an eyebrow. Resignedly, he knelt to fulfill the request, but upon standing up, he exclaimed, Good heavens, man, where are your testicles? The explosives expert smiled and replied, Back in the Falkland Islands, sir.